Ferrari's ace test driver and car development engineer, Rafael de Simone, expresses, conditions are perfect right now. Standing in the pit building next to Pista di Fiorano, the iconic test track envisioned by the late Enzo Ferrari, de Simone readies for a monumental moment. In building number 27, where Enzo once oversaw Fiorano's activities, untouched since his passing in 1988, the atmosphere is charged with history. Brief consultations with Ferrari engineers precede de Simone's entry into the 2024 Ferrari SF90 XX Straydale. As he does, one can't help but imagine Enzo's gaze fixed on a small closed-circuit TV in his preserved office. While the unfolding story on the video feed is captivating, the success or failure of today's venture hinges on GPS data and a comprehensive timing system. It's October 12th, a sunny morning with an ambient temperature of 68 degrees, ideal conditions for speed. Ferrari sets the stage by having De Simone attempt a production car lap record in the hybrid twin-turbo V8-powered SF90 XX Straydale before allowing journalists to experience it. The existing record of 1 minute, 19.0 seconds, set by the regular SF90 Straydale, is expected to be shattered by the XX's enhanced capabilities. De Simone, despite his extensive knowledge of Fiorano's twists and turns, faces pressure during the attempt. After two warm-up laps, he has one shot at the real number, as the XX's Michelin tires can't sustain their optimal performance beyond that. Strapped in, De Simone begins the timed lap. The SF90 XX Straydale exhibits impressive speed, gracefully maneuvering through the track's tight confines. While drama is notably absent, the raw pace is evident. As the red car completes the lap, the screen reveals a time of 1 minute and 17.5 seconds, setting a new Fiorano production car benchmark, surpassing the previous record by 1.5 seconds. Enzo's legacy, satisfied for now, can rest until the next challenge. What is the essence of this, anyway? Those deeply involved in the 2024 Ferrari SF90 XX Straydale's development in Maranello insist that the car was never part of the original product plan. The SF90 Straydale, upon which it is based, is already an extraordinary hybrid hypercar, holding the production car lap record on the Indianapolis Motor Speedway road course. Our presence at the event, nearly two and a half years ago, witnessed the Assetto Fiorano version of the SF90, equipped with lighter-than-standard features such as carbon fiber wheels, a titanium exhaust, and suspension springs. This version achieved a lap time only about 4 seconds slower than a Ferrari Challenge Series Spec 488 race car. An astonishing feat during our own testing, it emerged as the fastest hybrid and gasoline-powered car we've assessed. Accelerating from 0 to 60 miles per hour in 2.1 seconds and covering the quarter mile in 9.6 seconds at 145.2 miles per hour, earning it the title of an all-time great. Performance car according to our features editor, Scott Evans. The creators agreed with this description, to the extent that the XX version was initially unlikely. Matteo Tricconi, the car's product marketing manager, sheds light on the genesis of the XX version, stating, We started to think about it after the launch of the SF90. When we designed the regular version, we were thinking of a supercar. We put everything into it in terms of power, technology, performance. So this is the reason we didn't think to realize an extreme series of this car, because it was already extreme. But then we started to think in terms of using it as a laboratory, just an exercise. What can we do to extreme IC and exploit the full potential of that car on a track doing a very hot lap? We started to think first about the aerodynamics, but again, only as an exercise, just an idea, not for final production. Something for our technical learning. We have several of these projects that we study to learn something new. But then we started to work on the aerodynamics, and we had to use an extreme approach, similar to the XX series of cars, approach we normally use for cars that are not road legal. We started to propose it to our bosses, for the first time to do something disruptive, unpredictable, the first XX Straydale. We've had nearly 20 years of XX cars and 25 years of special series cars, but never did we link these two things. We convinced our bosses, they gave us the green light, and here we are. Given Ferrari's understanding of its customers, the decision to proceed was likely influenced by the bottom line, 
the factory will produce 799 coupe versions and 599 spider convertibles. Priced at $890,000 and $995,000, respectively. Customers desiring extras such as carbon fiber wheels and a magnetoreological adaptive suspension will incur additional costs. Each unit is already spoken for in the current world where seemingly every limited edition automobile of significance sells out, regardless of the price. Elevating Power Turconi's mention of XX and Special Series cars highlights the distinct performance levels and philosophies across Ferrari's lineup. Essentially, there are standard, range, models like the 296, Icona models incorporating limited editions such as the Monza and Daytona SP3. Special Series offerings like the standard SF90 and the 812 Competizione, and finally, the XX program consisting of extremely high capability, track use only creations like the 599 XX Evo and FXXK. Moreover, the SF90 XX Straydale represents the inaugural instance of Ferrari applying race style hardware to a road legal car while retaining its road legality. Typically, Ferrari reserves and maintains XX products for elite customers for track enjoyment worldwide. However, the new SF90 XX Straydale aims to deliver a comparable level of performance consistently, making it accessible to customers in the real world, parked in their personal garages. While we've previously detailed the car's technical highlights, here's a quick recap. The 2024 Ferrari SF90 XX Straydale utilizes the same twin-turbo 4.0-liter V8 engine and 7.9 kilowatt-hour lithium-ion battery slash triple-motor plug-in hybrid system as the standard version. It boasts peak IC outputs of 786 horsepower at 7,900 RPM and 593 lbft of torque at 6,250 RPM with a max engine speed of 8,000 RPM. Minor gains of 17 horsepower and 3 lbft are achieved through new pistons, an increased compression ratio, polished intake and exhaust ports, a revised combustion chamber, and the removal of a secondary air system, saving nearly 8 pounds. Although the electric motors remain physically unchanged, a new extra boost logic in the car's top performing qualifying mode increases their peak combined output to 229 horsepower at the push of a button, available up to 30 times per lapping session, depending on remaining battery energy. Overall, Ferrari asserts that the SF90 XX Straydale delivers up to 1,018 horsepower, a 30 horsepower improvement compared to the non-XX version. Beyond raw power figures, the spotlight shifts to aerodynamics, an essential aspect for max attack lap time cars. The XX Straydale significantly enhances its aerodynamic profile with a range of airflow and downforce improving features. Notably, patented S ducts beneath the hood redirect high flowing, cool air from the front bumper intakes to control the slow moving, hot air exiting the front radiator. This design eliminates the small frunk space in the non XX SF90. The S ducts play a crucial role in directing hot air over the car's center line, preventing it from entering the Thanks open cockpit watching. or affecting the HVAC Drop system like. intake and rear radiator Leave a comment. scoops. And don't forget to subscribe to watch more videos like this.